Today we're going to look at one issue in particular in the Heat defense and the Denver offense and how Denver changed how the Heat played defense in the matter of three total minutes. Okay, so the first thing is in the status quo, Miami has been doubling Jamal Murray on ball screens involving Jokic. So, Denver, in between games three and four, decided they wanted to try and take advantage of this more effectively. So right here, we can see Jamal Murray comes off, and they instantly start to double him. He does the right thing where he backs up, creates space for Denver. So that's the first sign that you know that Denver is doing the right thing. Okay? So here's the second example of that. That was merely a, a highlight from a previous play. Okay? So here, Denver is targeting this. They're going after it. Jamal Murray extends it, brings them out here, finds Jokic in the middle. That is where Jokic thrives kick out wide open corner three this is play one showing how denver exploited the miami defense all right now going to play two we can see a little later in the first half you can see how Jokic told just told everyone to clear out made sure that they were spaced on the backside prior to this ball screen you can see Jokic motioning right here hey okay, aaron gordon's gonna come over here create optimal spacing for Jokic to make the ideal pass ball screen happens Double goes on Murray. Murray backs up effectively. I love this concept right here. They're passing it to KCP, where they're passing it to the next guard to try and make it slightly easier pass for Jokic right here. Okay, so because they overreact, Jimmy Butler, we can see here, gambles to go up to Jokic because he knows that's where they want to go. Boom, who's on the backside? Aaron Gordon is cutting to the rim. That's a wonderful pass. That's a really hard pass to make. And KCP puts it right in the correct spot. And obviously Aaron Gordon has crazy leaping ability. So then we jump to two, one or two possessions later. Hey, we're gonna see a similar concept here. So first off, we get Jamal Murray the ball. His face is out. Jokic comes up, Let's says, let's try that again. Hey, ball screen, double comes. See this quick rotation right here? They do wanna prioritize Jokic, which is wonderful. Jamal Murray, Still makes a great pass to get it through there. However, it was probably slightly easier to swing it. But anyway, the ball gets into Jokic. Okay? Jokic is going to make the right read in this situation. Who is open? Michael Porter Jr. 41% shooter. That's a good look for Michael Porter Jr. Even though he's been missing those of late. Again, we can see this three possessions in a row getting great looks off of the Heat choosing to double Jamal Murray. All right. So then finally, we jump one more possession. The Nuggets are like, you know what? We've gotten three great looks. Why would we not go back to it and try and do it again? Spacing again. See everyone else spaced out. Jokic comes up. Ball screen. Ooh, what is Bam Adebayo doing? Bam Adebayo is uh, staying at the level. He is not coming up to double. The Miami Heat effectively decided we are no longer going to double this ball screen. Jamal Murray whips it to Aaron Gordon, expecting it to be open for Jokic in the middle. However... They changed their defense, and they did just force a bad shot for that one for the record because Denver didn't know what was coming. But that ha is how in the span of three plays, Denver changed Miami from doubling Jamal Murray all the way back to where they uh, decided essentially to just play back to what their original ball screen defense was. All through Denver's exploitation, moving the ball, finding Jokic in the middle, and creating great looks off of it.